women somehow think that patriarchy is actually the norm and that they should perpetrate it. How we've seen a lot of women who either inhibit themselves and keep quiet, or we've seen women who, um, you know, sort of derive their power only through men. Asif, I'll start with you. How do we fix everything that I talked about? Actually, I, I think if I just stem it back from, from my perspective, I grew up in the UK. I was born and raised in London. I, I didn't see any prejudice. I didn't see black, white, female, male, gay, lesbian, old, young, disabled. I didn't see any of that. Because actually everybody is a factor of production. What can you deliver for me? And my view was I didn't see male, female, whatever, tall, short. I don't see that. I see here's the objectives and what are you going to do to achieve them. And I have to give that equivalence to everybody in order to be judged on merit alone. Meritocracy is what must prevail. If it prevails in your exams, it must prevail outside. So we've put in females into more of the organization, into some of our more remote areas, and I've had no issues other than actually it's worked really well for me, and I'm a bit upset I can't do it faster and can't do it more. So what are some of the you know, advisory, because I know GSM does a lot of policy advisory, for women to change that? mindset to change the the system as well it begins at a young age if you have to mentor a, a young girl exposure to technology okay um, exposure to all the management skills so we GSMA also has um, uh, a tool ta training toolkit for all these young girls and even working women who want to take uh, some input from in there it's available online as well one is that uh, while you are growing up exposure to that uh, second is um, acceptance in, um, in obviously the society, but you know, otherwise it, it comes from the mindset of um, you know, where you are working, the, uh, the culture of the organization that you are going to, obviously and the culture of your uh, household too. What did you do for that toolkit for your daughters? What do you make sure yeah. that they get? Study as much as you can, do whatever you're interested in. And actually we've been putting in that culture from a very early age. That was drummed in to be my, by my father. I was a brother to three sisters. Mm -hmm. And my father t treated all four of us in the same. So if I went out, they were allowed to go out. If I went to university, they went to university. So whatever I did, they could do. And I think that, so that was embedded into me many years ago, which I've now embedded into my children and into my daughters. So actually, I've been encouraging them to be, be themselves. So you really feel that the attitude toolkit is the most important, the behavioral yeah. change that Sadaf talked about, rather than you know exposing them to tech or that they'll figure out on their own. Yeah. You just have to tell them it's an equal level playing it's field. It's an equal playing field. There's no permission for anything. You make your right moral decisions. And it's meritocracy. You make your own decisions. It's your life. It's your right. In fact, it is your God-given right to make your own decisions. Slut shamed. Right? Can you describe how limiting this is to uh, Pakistani women? So to think of behaviors and culture and values that we um, usually go through as something that's a minimal factor, that's not actually the trigger and that's not true, um, I think that's highly problematic and um, it makes all the other efforts kind of pale. We can't we can hold as DG cups and we can um, create amazing services uh, for women. But in the end, if it's all linking back to the permission culture, if it's all bringing women back to a point where, you know, they put in 200% for three years, then they burn out. Asif, what do you do with toxic parents or toxic spouses? My, my father faced this with my sisters when they wanted to go to university because this was just not, uh, not the norm. But uh, my father was very progressive and my mother and they said whatever Asif has done, uh, the others will do as well. So all three of my sisters also went to university.